And that a kind of chemistry between the two of you, between Jodie Comer, yeah. who plays Villanelle, and, and yeah. yourself. I mean, did, did you know that was going to be there? Or does it develop? Is that just good acting? What's the story? Um, you know, all those three things. You're saying, did you know? Did it develop? And is it good acting? I think it's all three things. Can I just when say, I I'm so impressed you were listening to what I was saying. <laughs> I'm hardly listening to myself. <laughs> it's like, wow, Sandra, oh, listen to the question. <laughs> I do, That's I very, try very to. Impressive. I really, yeah. I try to. And so those three points, it's like when I first met Jody and we had our first kind of chemistry read together, I knew that we had good chemistry. I could just tell because it was actually, speaking about listening, it was I could it, it was the way that we were listening together and the way that I could hear and I it's not even so much I could hear, I could feel how she was receiving anything that I was moving, giving to her, and that she would react. And I, I do think chemistry in some ways between actors is about listening. So I think it's to have that skill as well. Sorry? Oh yeah. I, well, I was listening. <laughs> I was I... I no, was it's listening. So, it's, it's, it, it's like I, I set you up and you just... <laughs> nice. That's good listening. <laughs> but now, we, we talked about the being on hits. You know, you're on uh, Grey's Anatomy, you're on Killing Eve, but there's another thing you're in that people come up to ask you about, isn't there? Which, oh, this is actually quite from the, from the past. Um, when I... It was actually, I think, my first American movie uh, it, 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 that I that I that I shot. Oh, no, no, no. I'm thinking about, you know what? I was thinking about Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean, who is obviously a very, very, very famous character for you. Um, yeah. That that movie, his first movie was my very first, my very first gig in America, in America. You're in, you're in the Mr. Bean movie. Dude, I mean, I wish that you could just show, yeah, right now. I'm, I'm in Mr. Bean. It was my very first gig uh, in, in LA in a, on, a, on a film in LA. So we shot that. It must have been the fall of 95. And I met Rowan and uh, Harris Ewan, fantastic cast. And Peter, Peter McNichol, who is just a genius. I was very young. I was probably around 23, 24. And I had just come to LA. And it was recently on television. And I was like, I cannot believe my hair. But that was, I got to tell you, such a great experience. I, there's a scene when we're all together in a conference room and Roan is, Roan was doing his thing and we could never get through a take. We could never get through a take. And it was such a great, rich experience for me. Um, uh, shooting, that was my first, Amer first big film. Okay, we've got, we've got the, this is you, we found it. This is, this is so live. You speak, we find. <laughs> uh, we've got the picture. There she is. Well, that is elaborate hair. <laughs> but also, isn't it great that, you know, because someone else might have come to L.A. and been in the Mr. Bean movie, but then never been in other things. <laughs> so they don't get to look back and, you know, enjoy it. It's interesting. It's like when you just, if you can just hang on, <laughs> if you can just stick around and hang on, it's amazing all the things that oh, you learn that come back to you and that you can then, you know, referred to many years later on your show. <laughs>